Hi, this is Joe from New Gaming Nation. I'm here with Dan, the creative director of Forza. Um, so why don't you tell us about about Forza? I mean, we know it's it's one of the most iconic racing series of all time. I mean, if you never heard of Forza, you, you never heard of racing games. But why don't you tell us about the direction of Forza 5 as opposed to like what you've updated since the last edition? Well, you know, Forza 5 is probably our most ambitious title to date. Having a racing game at launch is kind of expected. We've had great racing games, uh, Project Gotham Racing, Ridge Racer at the launch of consoles. But to have your flagship epic simulator at launch, that's something that really hasn't been done before. And it's a great test of our team, but also we're bringing a lot of innovation here and we're pretty excited about having the fans here at PAX and last week at Gamescom experience it. Okay, so uh, what kind of work have you done with tracks? I mean, I heard that there was a whole new process involved involving the tracks. Well, you know, we've innovated in a lot of areas, and racing gamers, I think, would really appreciate. We've got a new graphics engine, and that really shows itself on the tracks. The graphics engine runs at 1080p, 60 frames per second. It really shows off the imperfections. Now, the way we capture tracks is through a new laser scanning process. Laser scanning's been around for a while, but this is a brand new laser scanning rig and technology that's sub-centimeter accurate. Um, that really brings the track to life, but it's also the video and the photography we do that allows us to put those imperfections on the track, the chips, the, the folds and the tarps. But it's more than just that, honestly. The things we're doing in physics simply couldn't be done last generation. We needed more power, we also need a new approach, and we have that with a, a new approach with CalSpan. We have new things in multiplayer, and in E3 we talked about Drivatar, which is a whole new approach to opponents, AI in a racing game that Honestly, once you see it, it you can't unsee it. I mean, the, the AI really, it feels like a great multiplayer match. So now you spoke about the next generation and the new Xbox One coming out. How was it taking the Forza 5 franchise to the next level? Did you find any specific challenges? Was it more difficult to work with or easier to work with? You know, whenever you go to a new console, it is incredibly challenging, it always is. You have a lot more power and you have a lot of new features at your disposal. But it's also the most exciting time, both for a gamer and for a game developer. I'm, I'm hugely excited as a gamer for both new generation consoles to come out because the innovation is always wild, it's, it's cool. And it's the tip of the iceberg because it's really just the indication of what's going to happen over the next few years. But what's new here is bringing a full Forza Motorsport epic flagship franchise at launch because our fans expect innovation and we demand of ourselves innovation. So doing things like cloud-powered drive guitars, the new physics engine, the new graphics engine, there's so much new innovation coming in and coming in at launch. It's incredibly challenging, but so rewarding. I mean, especially seeing our fans play it, having a great time. Oh, yeah. I mean, the game looks great, and you know, we, we've, been, we've been walking around and, and we're really impressed. But uh, thank you for your time. We really appreciate it. Great.